for our first examples uh, of this, uh, first example, let's just take something real uh, Let's take a cheetah. Okay, so we take a cheetah. Uh, average adult male cheetah has a mass of 115 kilograms. Cheetah is one of the fastest uh, land animals, so it can go from from zero uh, up to uh, 29 meters per second, and it can do that in 4.1 seconds. And so, uh, question is. What's the average power output of a cheetah when it's doing this? And so, well, power, average power, so average power is going to be the change in energy over time. Well, the only kind of energy we've talked about is kinetic energy, so change in kinetic energy over time. And so uh, change in kinetic energy, we start at zero, we end at one half mv squared over time. And so uh, this gives us that the power is going to be one half 115 kilograms times v, 29 meter per second squared divided by 4.1 seconds. And that comes out to be a total of 11,800 watts. Well, if you convert that, 11,800 watts, that's the same as 15.8 horsepower. Okay, so Budweiser Wagon has all these Clydesdales out here, okay, and, and the Clydesdales here are horses. Why do you not just have a cheetah pulling this? Okay, if a cheetah has almost 16 horsepower. Well, for one thing, cheetahs are cats, and it's really hard to make them do what you want them to do. Okay. The other thing is uh, that there's a huge difference between power and energy. Power is the rate of change of energy. Power is not equal to energy. So while the cheetah may have a huge amount of power, the cheetah actually has less stockpile of energy than the horse does. And so that means that, that the cheetah expends itself very, very rapidly. Uh, in fact, if uh, uh, cheetahs are very, very fast and, and they, they achieve very high velocities very quickly, uh, but they cannot sustain it more than a few seconds, and then they're worn out and they got to stop. So they, 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 they take off after a gazelle. If they don't catch the gazelle you know, within a few seconds, then the cheetah has to stop and rest, and so, uh, whereas the horse can keep exerting a horsepower for all day. And so, because uh, they have a much bigger energy reserve. So power is not the same as energy. So uh, uh, even though the cheetah may have more horsepower, it doesn't have the energy reserves. And so it's not quite the same sort of thing. Another example. Uh, let's say that we uh, uh, have a construction crane here. Okay. And so we have a construction crane, and, and someone's building a high-rise building or something, and so uh, the workers have a pallet of material down here they want to lift. And so let's say the material uh, they're trying to lift is uh, 220 kilograms, and you want to lift it a distance of 21.4 meters, and you want to do that in... 6.75 seconds. And so, so uh, what I want to know is what horsepower motor on average is necessary to accomplish this. So we're going to assume we're lifting at constant speed. So, free body diagram. We got mg pulling down, we got tension pulling up, 
we're going a distance this way. Okay. Now, if we're going at constant speed, now if we're not going at constant speed, it's more complicated. If we're going at constant speed, tension equals mg. Okay. And so that means that the work done uh, uh, is going to be mgx. Now, remember, the work is the change in energy. Power is the rate of doing work. So that means that average power, change in energy over time. So the average power for the crane would be mgx over time. And so that would be uh, 220 kilograms, 9.81 meter per second squared, uh, 21.4 meters, divide by 6.75 seconds. And so that's 6840 watts. So that is 9.17 horsepower.